Catholic family is speaking out and they're defending her and the Mormon church with all of this. Guys, make sure and click the plus sign. I'm going to have more on this. Sound off in the comments and tell me what you think. But recently, a nephew of Ruby and Kevin's has been speaking out. And here, he talks about Mormonism. And he, he is actually defending Mormonism and its lies, in my opinion. Check it out and we'll discuss. Well, I mean, for anyone who thinks that what Ruby did was typical, you know, Mormon behavior, it's not. Uh, <laughs> that's something I've seen circulating around on the Internet um that's you know as someone who was a member that's not even something that the church would even consider and i don't know why any church would um she uh oh gosh yeah that's i'm just remembering i read that article recently about the um honey peppers and stuff that they found that was Awesome. I don't know if you've seen that. Now here are my thoughts. I don't think this is a bad kid at all. He's come out basically and he's said they don't condone what Ruby did. Um, they support Sherry. They support the kids. So that part is good. They have condoned that. But then he says, if people think this is normal Mormonism at all, it's not. The problem is that it is. Now in saying that, I'm not saying every Mormon partakes in these practices. And you know, I maybe the Mormon church put him out there to say these things. I would highly doubt that, but at the same time, I don't trust anything with the Mormon church, the organizations. I think it was, I think if he grew up Mormon the way that she did, or even similar to what Ruby did, there's a lot of naivete where he's like, I don't see why the Mormon religion would be okay with that or any religion. Because most religions are businesses. They are businesses and they are organizations to keep society as it is. And society is all about impoverishing people, keeping them into slavery and using their energy, all of our institutions, including our churches. So I want to, and maybe I'm doing too much here. Maybe I'm giving too much benefit of the doubt, but I want to give benefit of the doubt to the fact that I think he's probably just tired of being in this family and having him and his family just completely desecrated and attacked over and over again for just the fact that she's in that family. But this is untrue. And it's untrue because we know the Mormon church pushed Jody. They pushed these practices. In fact, they funded Jody and Ruby. We have heard that information. Those receipts are coming out left, right, and center. So to say this isn't normal Mormonism, the good thing is I hope for him it's not. I hope the way he grew up it's not. But for the Mormon church, they are heavily involved with this woman and heavily invested. And as a matter of fact, has the Mormon church come out at all and said anything against Ruby? Have they said anything against what's happening? Have they condoned it whatsoever? No. And I think that's really telling. So this is where it's frustrating. When you hear people say, well, this isn't real Mormonism, it is. If you're a Mormon, this is your church and this is your organization. I grew up Catholic. This is like me saying, well, what the priest did to children, that's not normal Catholics. That's not what real Catholics do. No, my, because I was a part of that organization as a child. My organization did that. They need to be held accountable. And I'm trying to get people to break out of those mental prisons of identification where they are because they, they identify with the fact that I am this specific thing, therefore my thing can't do that. No, no, it can, it does, it probably has, and we have to hold these organizations accountable and not just identify with them because it's something comfortable that we grew up with or there's some comfort in the fact that that's something that we know. And understand, we don't always know these organizations. So I'm not trying to you know, put this person down or attack them. My heart goes out to him and his family if they're being put down. And I, I, he looks very young. I'm not sure if that's the case, but he looks very young. And we know with stuff like this, it can take years and years to uncover. I'm somebody who's been through trauma and abuse almost 40 and 39 years old, I'm still uncovering what happened to me. And I'm not necessarily saying this stuff happened to him, but for him to actually understand it and conceptualize it and realize what his church has been a part of, it needs to be held accountable. We can't just say, well, my aspect of the church didn't do that. Great. But the other parts of the organization did in very large ways, and they need to be held accountable regardless of who or what you associate with. I don't know. What do you think about all this? What do you think about what he has to say? What do you think about my assessment? Sound off in the comments and click the plus sign. Okay.